Maybe everything is lifeless around you. Everything is not working a function in your case. I want to decree in the name that is above other names. There is life in your marriage. There is life in your house. There is life in your children. There is life in our nation, Kenya. There is life in our economy again. In the name of Jesus. And he caused things which do not exist as though they existed. There are things that are not there. And we caught them. And they come. You speak them. And they are there. You say there is this. And it happens. I want to declare even what is not in your house. You cannot sense it. But I am calling it. And it is there. I am calling it. Though it does not exist in you, it exists in the presence of God. So I am calling it out of the realm of the spirit. The Bible tells me, blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every blessing in the spiritual realm. I want to declare your blessings are there. They may not appear physically, but I want to say they are there. You may not have your family physically, but I want to tell you it is there. You may not have a job physically, but I want to tell you it is there. You may not have a husband physically, but I want to tell you the husband is there. You may not have that wife in physical terms, but I want to say he is there. You may not have that house. You may not have that car. You may not have those members. You may not have those leaders in physical terms, but I want to make a declaration. They are there. And today we are calling things which are not there to begin to manifest in your life what you have been crying for what you have been uh, uh, longing to have. I declare by the word of God that they shall be manifested. Remember God called things uh, and they began to appear. The Bible says in the beginning uh, God created the heavens and earth. The hall was formless and void uh, and God said uh, let them be light uh, and God said uh, let them be this uh, and there was uh, and God said uh, and God said and God said and there was then he saw it and so it was very good I want to declare there is peace in Kenya I want to declare there is healing in Kenya I want to declare there is healing in your life I want to declare there is no pain in your body I declare it and what we declare it shall be established my Bible tells me if we honor God and you throw away your gold and silver and you take your God and that prayer precious gold and as your choice is silver you shall lift your hands and pray and then you shall declare a thing and it shall be established for you you shall declare a thing and it shall be established for you and declare healing over your life and declare peace and prosperity over the nations of the world and declare healing in Italy and declare healing in Spain healing in the United States healing in every place where it has been hurt so hard by the COVID-19. I declare healing in your body. Those who are watching from hospital, I declare you are healed. I declare your house is full of peace. I call things which are not there as though they are. I call you rich. I call you prosperous. I want to use the anointing of Handam. The Bible says whatever Handam called and gave the name is what it was called by God and that is it, it is what it is even today. I want to be clear you are blessed. You are not cast. You are blessed. You are not good for nothing. You are not useless. You are mighty person. You are a prosperous man. You are not going nowhere. You are going to nations. You are going to the world. You are changing and transforming lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who look disparate and worthless. I want to call life upon you. I want to declare there is life. I want to declare there is peace. I want to declare there is healing into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever is owning your destiny, whatever spell has been casted over your life and over your children, I rebuke 
rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Whatever is holding your life, I command it to lose you. I command your mind to be loose. I command you to be free in the spirit. I command your finances to be loose. I command your marriage to be loose. I release prosperity over your life. I release prosperity over your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to declare the things uh, that you could not see, the things that you could not feel, the things that you could not experience. You experience them by the promise of God. And God is able to do more than we can ever imagine or ask through the power that works in us. I want to enlarge that power that is in you. I want to quicken that power that is in you by the way of the Spirit of the Lord. May you begin to see yourself winner. May you begin to see yourself a conqueror. For you serve God. Though things may not be like that in the physical. Abraham was as good as dead. Abraham was not even counted by nature that he can be a father. Sarah the same case. But God who caused things we are not there as though they are. He called them the father and the mother of the nation respectively. And God change their situation around. I want you to understand. Bible says Abraham in verse 18 that Abraham contrary to hope in hope who contrary to hope in hope believed that he became the father of many nations according to what was spoken so shall you and descendant be look at that say Abraham believed against all hope against all hope when human effort when human uh, indicators when natural indicators were showing that Abraham cannot become a father of many nations he cannot be that he Against all hopes, there was no hope. There was no human reason for Abraham to wait upon the Lord. I, I wonder why people give up even when they have a, a human reason. You have a human reason or naturally it is your case can be uh, 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 taken to the nature and the law of king nature can say it is possible. Uh, you, it can be reasoned by natural and the natural can say it is possible. But still you give up. Still you don't wait upon the Lord. You still you don't believe in the promise. Abraham believed in the promise of God that he shall become the father of many nations when nature was pointing out clearly that, uh, that uh, there is no possibility, there is no hope, and there is no way for him to see what God said. So there was no indicator, there was nothing. When everything says it will not happen, then it happened, then God is involved. When all the reasoning say this cannot happen and it happens, then God is in control. When they say it cannot be and then God comes and makes it happen then there is God when they say you cannot recover and then you recover then there is God when they tell you it is not possible for you to have a child and then you have a child then there is God when they say it is not possible according to their knowledge and according to your to the understanding and then it becomes possible then there is God involved in that I like that that when all things fail, God does not fail. When all things cannot function, God does not fail to function. God is there to make us move, to make us advance, to make us prosper in the name of Jesus.